Now I'm going to explain you how to add the external users to your Azure Active Directory first and then from there you can add him in your Azure Databricks workspace. So first and the foremost thing is go to the Azure portal and search for the users. Click on the users here and you get an option to get a new user. So you can see I have, I am the admin here but I'm going for the new user and I'm just clicking on the invite external user. So let me click on that external user. Now I'm adding one user here. Let me put his email address and let me write his name. For example, cool. Let me click on review plus invite and let me click on invite. So the moment I click on invite, he will be getting a message or an email from the Microsoft to the personal email address, he has to accept it. So he'll get a message like someone is inviting you for your Microsoft Azure account. So you just need to accept it. So this is the first step. I have added him as a user in my yeah. Azure Active Directory. So, we have completed the first step. I have added some external users here in my account in my Active Directory. Now the second step is to give them the permission to access my resources to give them the permission. So how to do that? So let me go here and let me go to the subscription. And I want that external users to use my subscription. Let me go with the subscription pay as you go model. And here I got get an access control. So I'll just click on it. And I am going to assign the role to those external users. So I'll just click on add and click on add a role assignment. So in the role assignment, I'll give them the role of contributor. Let me just type it here as a contributor or you can go and search for the privileged administrator roles. I want to grant them manage all the resources, but does not allow to assign the roles. So contributor role, let me click on next. And to whom should I give? So I'll just select our members here. I want to give it to Prashant and Amol. So I'll just click on uh, two external users and click on select. And once I selected it, I'll just click on review. It will throw me a quick notification and I'll just click on review and assign. So the moment I click on review and assign, two roles will be assigned to those uh, two external users as a contributor. So once they have done, they will get a notification on their Gmail address, whatever we have just for the adding an external user there. So they just need to accept it and log in. After the login, they have to switch their directory. So this is important again. You just need to click on the users here and you get an option called switch directory. So click on switch directory. Once you click on this switch directory, you might get these all directories. So I have uh, like many other directories here you can see. So you have to switch it to my uh, like whatever I have shared like novel lemul at the rate uh, gmail dot on Microsoft dot com. So you need to click on switch. So once you click on switch, you would able to easily get inside my Azure account. So that is how you can add the external users to your Azure Active Directory. And once you add into the Azure Active Directory, you can easily see the resources. If not, you can just type in a search for Databricks. Once you search for the Databricks, you might see all the resources here. I request you to uh, click on the latest one that is Databricks NY. And once you click it, you would able to see all the clusters and all the notebooks where I am currently working on. So this is how external users is added to the Databricks workspace by using an Azure Active Directory. Once I added that external users and I have assigned them the role, so I'll just verify whether he has opened my Databricks account or not. So I'll just go to the workspace and here you can see in the workspace, I have users. Let me click on the users and now you can see it. So Amol has already my uh, Databricks workspace. I can see Amol's ID here. Let me get inside this and you can start working on it. Like Amol can start working on it. So let me create a folder for him. So let me create a new notebook or folder for him. 
and I'll just say this is our day for day five and he will be working on this and actually I am working on one of the file now let me go day five I'm working on this complex data so what I'll do I'll push this code book the AMOLS folder so I can just go here and I'll just click on this clone so clone is just to copy the date uh, the notebook so I want to copy it in the AMOLS folder day 5 so let me push this oh, let me zoom out like yeah now let me click on this clone okay let me click on this clone and the moment I click on clone so he see that notebook and one more thing actually Amol can you uh, come on to this notebook where I am currently working on okay so once uh, like the external user is here I can see him here you can see that Amol and I together are working here so Amol I want you to execute this code like you try to display this DF so you run this from your end is getting an error saying that single user check failed he is attempted to run a single user cluster but single user of this cluster is so I need to switch my cluster settings to multiple users so let me do that settings here let me go to the cluster compute and you can see in my novel emails cluster I have given the permission for the single user you can see single user what I'll do, I'll just edit that cluster configuration. I'll edit it, and instead of single user, I'll just take it as a no isolation shared. I want all languages and I want all users to use that cluster. I'll just click on confirm and restart. So it will take one or two minutes and it will restart my cluster. And once the cluster is restarted, you can see that Amol and all the external users with me can work together. That's